Welcome to Florence, home of Michelangelo and tons of other famous artists. Yeah, we are gonna go on a boat tour. We're gonna ride bikes in Tuscany. We're gonna try wine. We're gonna make pizza. We're gonna eat gelato. It's time to go, right? Let's go. First of all, riding a Segway, cruising through Florence was so much fun. You know, as you cruise through these little alleyways, you see all the markets, people selling stuff, the vendors. It is absolutely a beautiful little town. Everyone comes to Florence to see the Duomo. There's actually two domes. There's the outside red one, then there's the inside one that's all painted and beautiful. Oh, oh look at that behind me. Is that the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Yes, it is. 296 steps to the top. Let's go. Here I am on top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It is definitely one of the wonders of the world. Being able to ride our bikes through the hills is just absolutely beautiful too. It's such a great way to experience the outdoors and just being in the area. Oh, I've definitely worked up an appetite riding on this hills. And the food here has been delicious. It's all been so good. Salute! Hey. Hey. The best thing about eating lunch here with these views is that this food is produced right here. This wine is produced steps from this table and it tastes so good. Learning how to make pizza was one of the most fun things to do. The chefs were really fun, tons of energy, the people in the class were great. The pizza tasted so delicious. So this is the Uffizi area, and let me tell you, it is amazing. As I walk now through this corridor, it's kind of like how the Duke used to do it. It would go from his private palace to the political palace, and every now and then he'd stop at these windows and check out his kingdom. This is one of those stereotypical European moments when you dream of. I'm here on a river, small boat, the sun is setting, all the houses are lit up with golden light. Florence does not get better than this. Wow, I had no idea. The city was so beautiful. Yeah, I love being able to learn a little bit about the history and all the famous artists that lived here. And also, of course, learning how to make pizza and eating some of the world's best gelato. Oh, this place is just endless beauty. And we will definitely be back.